some doom some gloom some despair lots of fun lots of laughs um why don't we go ahead and, and we'll let everyone introduce themselves uh just sad note uh jer who is brillin won't be with us so sad you'll have to deal with me playing brillin tonight um but should be back next week so excited for that but other than that uh josh we'll we'll start Start with me? Yeah. Cool. I never get to go first. This is wonderful. Oh, Actually, I wow. went first during the charity stream. Never mind. Uh, Twice in a row. I'm Mage uh, in chat and on Twitter, Mage underscore 07, like the letter O. Uh, and I am playing Averlin, an evil rogue warlock, a celestial assassin, if you will, uh, hired by, or trained by Zariel to hunt angels. And that power has gone to her head, and we will see if there are any consequences for her actions. Popcorn, Jill. Thank you. Um, I'm Jill. I am also Crush Krusk, um, a half orc paladin who is a very big fan of Groomsh, the guy that started the orcs. Um, even though I'm half orc, I really identify with the orc situation, and I would like to play up my orc uh, ness. So I'm here to be violent. I'm here to be aggressive, and I'm not very nice. So that's correct. Oh, oh! <laughs> I know, spicy, spicy. Wow. Um, a popcorn kodu. All right, yes, I'm Kodu, also known as Cody, uh, normal DM for our Wednesday streams here, Tales of Kendro. Um, and today I am playing Tyston Strong, uh, a uh, half-elf ranger uh, who is a bit of a, a hermit and a uh, kind of a brash person in general. Um, but, uh, but yeah, um, he's here to make some extra coin and, you know, uh, you know, do some work here, but uh, and then Carrington, I will popcorn you. All right, hello everyone. I am uh, Carrington. I am founder of Open Heart Games, and thank you so much for having me. Uh, we are playing today uh, Valen Bainray Wolf Sting, who is uh, has proved herself to be both charming and deadly, mostly deadly. In the last session, uh, and she is a, a uh, adherent of Lolth's and also an assassin for hire. And I guess we pop porn back to the GM, right? And yeah. to Brillin. Yes. So Brillin is uh, Brillin Sunnies. Su Suenny Suenny. Brillin. Brillin is a <laughs> monk, and Brillin is Kender which means their wit is just as sharp as their blades. Uh, and so hopefully you don't get hit by a fist and a quick uh, insult. Because that'll hurt your feelings. Don't eat that. I was just going to say, I heard a cat. Yeah, I that's it was Oscar. Oscar. He definitely <laughs> ate. Don't eat that. He didn't eat it. He didn't eat it. Okay, we're good. I don't know well, what it is. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a fun That's day. I think he decided to not eat it. <laughs> um, so yeah, so um, Brillin is uh, definitely chaotic and definitely evil. The door's open. You can go out there and bug your dad. Um, 
Yeah. So, uh, who would like to recap? Whoever recaps, uh, just like Cody does, if you recap, you can have an inspiration. I'll, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, go for it. All right. So we, uh, we began by introducing uh, each member of the party. Um, and uh, we met in the... We met in the city of. I'm looking at the notes and cheating a little bit. Um, uh, if I if I butcher it, I apologize. Is it Fel Felrua? That's pretty close. Yeah, yeah, Fial Felrua. Fial Felrua. Whatever. Um, I didn't and, to say however they want. And Averlin had been given uh, a job and kind of brought us all together for this job. We do not know how much um, Averlin knows and isn't telling us yet. But we were uh, we met uh, at a tavern, and in in in, in classic D and D ways, uh, and uh, sat down had had a, a dinner paid for by our mysterious sponsor. Uh, Averlin found a note, which we don't have the information on what was on that note at this time. We ate the rest of our meal, and then went to resupply at the local general store? Question mark. Yeah. Uh, and then at that at that general uh, that general store we met uh, uh, Silas. More more on him later. Uh, and we gave him some money and said, "Hey, will you show us the secret way into the uh, into this prison?" Which the job that we were given was to break into this nigh uh, impenetrable um, prison and break someone we don't know who it is out of that prison and bring them. Uh, somewhere else. Um, the Rotsdam Prison is the name of that, which is near Fjallruha, um, but we don't know much about it. But Silas promised us um, uh, to be able to take us close enough to it so that we could maybe find a way to sneak in. And uh, while we were at the general store, we stole everything that wasn't bolted down. Some of us paid for it. Um, other, others didn't. We then left on our way. We fought a couple of crabs. Um, and oh, that wasn't judgment, by the way. Like, I mean, we're gonna steal stuff. Like, we're bad. We we are the bad guys. Oh yeah, this is uh, okay. yeah. <laughs> I was mostly laughing at the people that paid for things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, it's their, it's you know it's their first time being evil. Uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we we went outside. We marched towards the place. We fought some crabs. Uh, when we got close to the uh, to the prison. Uh, with prison in view, um, uh, my character cast um, passed out trace so we could sneak up close, closer. And once we got close enough, we uh, Valen came to the conclusion that uh, Silas had outlived his usefulness and dispatched him. And that's where we'll we'll pick up is with the the kind of ending of that dis dispatch. Um, but yeah, definitely take an inspiration. I think that was really Thank you. Uh, succinct and. Perfect. That was great. So yeah, definitely take that inspiration. Um, so let's let's begin. Let's set the scene here a little bit. So all of you have just watched Valen slide their Eva. It's a rapier. Mm -hmm. Their rapier back out. Silas kind of coughs and, and gurgles. Uh, his face is just fully in shock. Went just from a, a getting paid a lot of money getting kissed by a person and then all of a sudden uh, his insides are just leaking around in themselves and he's got blood in his lungs and he's like, what is happening? He's in shock. And uh, as you pull the rapier and kind of push Silas into the river, um, coughs out more blood and there's blood streaming down the front of him and as he lands in the water, you'd expect the blood to kind of like float out. But before it does that, very clearly, you see eight legs that look like a spider kind of spread out into the water around him very sharply. You see sort of this like momentary dimming of all the light around him. And then it's done and the, the blood kind of dissipates into the water as you would think it would. Valen turns to the, to the party uh, and just has this wicked grin on her face. And she says, Lolf blesses us this evening. 
we should have a great and profitable evening, it appears. We go now with the blessing of the Spider Queen. There you go. And you yeah, did say... like a wonderful time. Yeah, and last week you said you did grab that, that coin purse as he, like, yes. back into the... Okay. So in that, just so you know, you do find um, 30 copper pieces, 7 silver pieces, and mm-hmm. 5 gold pieces. You also find a blue ribbon and there is um, rolled up, kind of tied with just a piece of of rope, an unsigned deed to a small plot of land down the river back towards Yelgaro in that verse. We're already profitable. (laughs) Uh, Valen will take the uh, the blue ribbon uh, and she will tie up her hair uh, so she she kind of bundles up her snow white hair and ties it with the blue ribbon, and then she'll say, let's get to work. All right, so as you're tying that up, you all hear this just otherworldly, bone-chilling, maybe not to you all, but put to like a normal, you know, good-aligned person, just this scream <laughs> rip through the air. It's loud, it is terrifying, like I said, it's, it's bone-chilling. Um, can everyone tell me what their passive perception is? Uh-oh. Cool. 18? 18, okay. Jeez. <laughs> 16. Um, 16, okay. Oh, no. Wait, my my passive who? Perception? Perception, yes. Is that a 9? I believe it's a 9. Okay. And then Averly, I'm sorry, I missed Averly. What was your passive perception? 14. 14, okay. So, um, Valen and Tyson, you both turn your heads uh, to face away from the river. You're looking to uh, what would be the uh, west. And you can make out, moving very quickly through the trees, um, one, two, three, four, five, Looks like six shadows um, heading your way. The rest of you know that something is coming, but you don't know from where, unless, you know, your party members clue you in. Um, Except for you, Crush, to be 100% honest, you look over at Silas's body (laughs) floating in the river. You're like, how? Uh, Very confused. (laughs) Uh, Not sure what's going on. Um, So can we tell what these shadows are? Uh, go ahead and roll. Because I have superior dark vision. I'm in okay. my element now. <laughs> okay, perfect. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Even though I'm an idiot, I also have dark vision. Okay, it's not. It's not a dark vision thing. They're really far away. They're running through Dang the it. trees. It's not. It's not that. Once they get close enough, you'll absolutely be able to see what they are. Um, go ahead and, and roll to see if you can figure out what they are. Um, roll me an in, uh, uh, investigation. Check because you're now you're pulling in the details. Yeah. Should I also be doing this? If you want, if you want, if you care what they are, yeah, I guess it'd be. I, I'm real bad at this. Oh. <laughs> I, I think, I think Valen is just going to assume that they're hostile, and instead of make, in, if we're rolling investigation, she does not care. She's just going to hide instead of wasting the time. If that's okay. okay. Yeah, that's okay. Right. Eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah, that's good enough. Um, and your stealth check, yeah, if you're gonna be hidden. Um, so... Uh, that's, that's a 40? Yeah, I think you're good. <laughs> <Nice>. Um, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> they see you. Good. No, um, yeah, Tyson, you take a minute, and with your ranger eyes, um, you can make out the shape of definitely what looks like some vampire spawn, and something else you're not, you're not quite sure what it is, you definitely can make it a, 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 a religion check to see if you can make out that one, but you can tell by the way that they're moving from this investigation check that they definitely are hostile and they definitely have their sights set on your group. Um, I'm actually pretty good with religion, so yeah, if you're okay with me doing that, I'll yeah, do it. Yeah, go for it. Oh, even better. Uh, yeah, 24. that's great. Yeah, so um, this is working out really well in your favor. I'm very nervous for you all in combat. These rolls are really good, so... <laughs> um, the universe will even itself out soon. You gotta no. make sure that I ruin all of our roles for the rest of yeah, the day. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Don't worry, I got it. I got this, it. This sixth 
being, so there's five vampire spawn, there's the sixth being, is not vampiric by nature, um, but they are definitely aligned with these vampires. This is some sort of dark priest. Um, yep, so probably gonna be a magic wielder, so buckle up. Um, so there's only room for one dark priest in these fear parts. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I kind of like stage whisper to everybody. I'm like, oh, we got five vampire things and then a creepy thing that uh, magic something or other chasing with them. They seem to work together. Careful. You just keep your eyes up. Crush, right. look over here. <laughs> uh, so, so cool thing about drow is they have uh they have an entire language that's based on like hand signs so she will sign to Avalon, who she's worked with before uh literally like have they heard of silence like no <laughs> no also i'm too dumb for silence <laughs> um okay so um I'm, you know what, I'm doing this, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm just gonna leave these all as five feet. They're not actually, like, bigger than this, the map and the tiles are just... Sometimes it's, you know, it do be like that. Yeah. Okay. We understand. I'll adjust it eventually, but I'm not gonna do each of them right now as we're trying to say Look at all those skulls are so big. So big skulls. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I can make them smaller real quick. Oh, cool. While you're doing stuff. That's helpful. Um, this, one, this one in the back of the spellcaster. Uh, no, I haven't put that one out yet. I'm gonna oh. use this for the spellcaster. So we'll say... This is the vampiric priest. Um, while I'm getting their little names up, um, question for you all. You checked out, um, a cart during the crab attack. Did anyone take anything from that cart, or did you just look in there and go, eh? Because there was that that funky spell scroll, and there was some other stuff in there. Does anyone remember? Well, that? there was the 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 rice scroll. Yep. Yeah, rice blade. I think it was. Yep, rice blade. I kept the scroll case. Okay. Yep. Did you take anything? Did anyone take anything else from the cart? Does anybody um, remember else? What else is in there? I think somebody did end up taking the scroll and pocketed it. But, uh, okay. Did anyone take... I don't remember taking anything else. No one... Did anyone take... Jill, you said um. Are you remembering something? No, I'm... Well, I'm trying to remember. Anybody take some wooden stakes by chance? Is anybody... Uh... I didn't. Okay. I don't think so. Okay, so no one has any wooden stakes. Good to know. Oh, no. The stakes sure. are high without those Good to stakes. know. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. I'm so nice. I gave you tools. Um, okay. So uh, at this point, um, so Balin, you're hidden. Tyson, I'm going to go ahead and say that your action uh, was to tell everyone that they're coming. Um, crush. Do you want to? I'm gonna give you one action. Do you want to do anything in this moment? It can't be an attack action, but you can pull out a weapon or ready yourself or whatever. If you're talking, you're muted. Me? Yeah, <laughs> I said crush. Are you? Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought you were muted. I was like, oh no. No, 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 no. I was not boomerang. I was just idioting. Oh, you were in you were in character for Crush, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what you need? Literally so stupid. I'm telling something. you guys, the next time I make a character, they're gonna be a million smart, and I'm not gonna know what to do with it. <laughs> I love it. million smart. Love it. <laughs> well, I'm literally negative one smart, and I do believe that Orla is also negative one smart. Yeah. We got nothing going on upstairs. <laughs> um. You're an orange cat. Am, I'm sorry. Am I taking out a weapon? Can I have a weapon out? You can. You can take out a weapon if you'd like to do that. I'm giving you like one sort of like actiony type thing that you can do. It's oh, not a combat okay, action, yeah. but. Okay. Oh, I'll tell you what. Okay. I actually I've got my club out because okay. I did club open a box. Okay. Or something. I clubbed open something. You did. And I might presume that my club is made of wood. Okay. Yeah. Is that a thing? Right? I, at least the handle is. 
might have metal like, well, it really close say. to it. Well, Start shaving it down. Yeah, yeah, go for it. It's made out of wood. <laughs> okay, okay, it's made of wood. Excellent. Um, I'm gonna yeah, laugh if, if Crush takes that and just impales a, a vampire with a blunt end. I will be a, so happy. Hey. Don't it's steal so my thunder. I was getting ready to do it. Here's my thing, though. <laughs> Crush is going to have to make some sort of roll to see if they would be able to know that that's what they have to do with a vampire. So brace well, yourself. Okay, even though Crush is pretty dumb, Crush also loves a good fanfic. I'm sure he knows a little bit about vampires. <laughs> okay. Oh, it will be um, like a religion or an arcana check, so. Um, oh, well, I'm pretty good at arcana. Okay. Go ahead and do an arcana check on Brillin while Brillin does what Brillin's gonna do. Brillin is going to uh, pull out both of her short swords and ready herself. And then, if everyone could please roll for me initiative in uh, D and D Beyond. Initiative. Perfect. Every time. Um, Big Bertha, I do want you to realize that I got a thir uh, 17 Arcana check. 17, thank you. Okay, yeah, you know that a, a, a wooden stake through the heart would kill a vampire. Yeah. <laughs> and that's about all I know, so. Okay. okay. Myself a 14. Great. I got a 6. 6, okay. And then... Sick. Everyone, Everlyn, uh, 19. Oh, no, 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 Olive. <laughs> okay. Okay, auto-roll initiative. For all of these different guys. Okay. Oi. Alrighty, so, uh, Brillin is up first. Which feels like I'm cheating, but I promise I'm not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Rigged. Feet of movement. That's freaking rad. Something to look forward to, Ishka. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, so Brillin's gonna run in, as monks uh, tend to do, and is gonna just go ahead and uh, make a couple attacks here on the first vampire uh what number is that yeah they put letters on here instead of numbers yep okay no. okay so that's like math a class. b and that's vampire three so this one's gonna be vampire c also known as vampire three cool <laughs> Alrighty. ac 15 good to know good to know Ooh. now we know Oh shoot! Gosh, well, that's okay. Don't know. That's fine. <laughs> um. Okay, so that is that, and that's that. That's that. Uh, nine. Okay, and then second sword, short sword for their second one. And that also does. You're doing great. Um. Okay, that's another. Oh, these guys have a lot of hit points. No worries, though. Y'all are gonna be great. Um, and then for their bonus, they are just gonna pop them. Okay, and that also hits. Does a 27 hit? Just had to ask. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, that's no. gonna help. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> no. Oh, oh. Uh, okay, so, uh, great. So just so you all know, this, uh, vampire has taken, um, 31 points of damage. Nice. A little red circle, because I got boo-booed. Okay, um, so that is, uh, Brillin's turn done. Uh, and now it is the, um, this was a really bad time to open up a Reese's, uh, <laughs> egg. I need two hands to do this. Okay. Uh, it is now the priest's turn, and she is going priest to... Roll. Huh? What did the priest roll? She rolled a 20. 
Mm. Oh, nice. Yeah, oh. Uh, yeah. Same as Berlin. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty pretty good. So, uh, yeah, the priest is going to go ahead and, and use. Um, who's closest? Berlin. But yeah, I guess it would be towards Berlin because Berlin's the closest here. So um, I need to actually use my dice for this. Get all these out. I feel like I shouldn't use the pure white dice for the vampire lady. <laughs> um, okay, so that is a 10 plus 7. So that actually misses. Um, so this priest shoots a dark bolt of necrotic energy um, at uh, Brillin, but Brillin is able to kind of dodge out of the way. And avoid it, and uh, that is it for its turn. Averline, it is your turn. Excellent. Um, so you're gonna watch Averline kind of wind up and make a throwing motion towards uh, Vampire. Uh, three. And as the arm comes down, this radiant wave of energy, almost flame-like, shoots across. Uh, I need the vampire to make a dex save DC 16. Which vampire? Or I am casting Sacred Flame. The one that, the one that had the, the damage on it. Oh, the villain did? Okay, vampire three. You need to make a what saving throw? Deck, deck save. Deck save. Okay. That's a 19. All right. And the vampire just kind of uh, sees it coming and gets out of the way. That was my turn. Okay. It's vampire's spawn number E's turn. <laughs> number E. Which is also number five. They can move how much? 30 feet. Ugh. Rush, they can Ooh. see you, kind of. Oh, they can't. There's a big old tree there. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm behind a tree, and I'm pretty little. They're so. going to start heading in the direction. So you're little. Well, I was hoping to spook you, or whoa, bamboozle you. You, you, can leave the, you can leave the line to me, darling. <laughs> <laughs> this one is going to start making its way towards Averline, who um, the bolt came from. On the way by, Brillin does get an attack of opportunity on it, and we'll just try and punch it. Um, does that work? Sure does. That's 12 points of damage to Vampire Spawn E, also known as Vampire 5. That, uh, I don't think the vampires can do any sort of long distance, like they don't have any range weapon, range attack, so that vampire is actually going to use its second action to um, dash and shuffle its way so it's in range with our and that is Vampire Five's turn. And let me just mark that it has 12 points of damage. I'm gonna forget. I'm gonna, anyone that's already gotten damage to I'm gonna highlight in red in case someone has a spell that they need to know that. Um, I keep forgetting that. So, um, Vampire Spawn A. So Vampire number one. <laughs> Good God, this is... <laughs> I'm slowly gonna change these here as, uh... Okay. Um, Vampire A is going to... Honestly, it's gonna do what its desires tell it to, and it's gonna start moving towards the smell of blood. Uh, it's just gonna kinda shamble on over this away. Um... And on its way, Tyson, it sees you, so it's gonna go ahead and use a dash and start to make its way over. The heck it is! 
Uh, Everlyn, you do get an attack of opportunity on this bad boy if you'd like to. Uh, up to you. I think you're muted. muted. I am. Aha! Uh -huh. uh <laughs> I want to fire off Did you just blast. try to yell boomer, but you were muted, Jill? <laughs> <laughs> they give us and they take us away. Okay, so the 24 hits. A 24 absolutely hits, yeah. Uh, do you have what, do 14 damage to it? And I'm gonna help it by pushing it 10 feet, uh, 10 feet further. Towards Tystem? Like, uh, I guess in which direction? Like, uh, north, south, east, west, or a combination of the two? East way. East way. You got it. There you go. Wait, five. There you go. Um, does, no, how much damage did it do to it? Fourteen. Thank you. Work with me, please. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, that is its turn. Tyson! It's your turn. Alright. So I see this uh, vampire come towards me here, and uh, I see the one that uh, attacked uh, Crush as well, correct? Or like come after Crush? Uh, no, actually, nothing has come after Crush because Crush was behind oh. a tree. So gotcha. Okay. They they didn't All right. see. So yeah, the first thing that I um, uh, Tyson does here is the vampire spawn that just got pushed away. He draws an arrow and just uh, tries to uh, throw it into it. Does a nineteen hit? It does. Yes. All right, and that one has uh, This is has Vampire A, damaged. correct? Vampire A. And yes, it has already been damaged. Yep. Yeah, Vampire A. Um, okay. So, I'm going to roll my first damage, which is 12, but okay. then I get to add a D8 to that. Okay. This is my Colossus Slayer, which I thought would only be for, like, giant creatures, but any creature that's been, uh, that is not at its hit at max hit points. Nice. Uh, I can use it. So, once per turn. So, uh, so a, an additional seven damage on that. So that's 19 total? Yes. Did you get a 12 or a 14? I'm really sorry. 12, right? Um, yeah, 12 initially. Okay, so 19. Okay, 19 plus 14 is 33. All right, all right. Challenge my and math then... here. Okay. <laughs> uh, for my second attack... I'm gonna go ahead and shoot at the uh, um, the vampire spawn that is next to uh, Aveline. Aveline. Alrighty, do it up. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and roll my damage or roll my attack first. <laughs> Ooh, all right, twenty-eight. No. Yeah. It's... <laughs> That's max damage for fifteen damage on that. And that one is Vampire E, so 15 damage. You got it, yep. Okay, so that is 27 points. Okay, and Vampire E, that's, you said, sorry, 15, right? I want to double check. 15, yep. Great. Alrighty. All right, and then, oh, let me double check here. Oh, okay, and then, um, if you're okay with it, because I didn't let you know beforehand, but it says uh, I can use my, as a bonus action, use my ensnaring strike. Um, and it's basically when I hit a weapon. No, no. I think it's, uh, I have to cast it first and then hit, so. Okay. Never mind. And I think okay. that ends my turn. Okay. Uh, next is another vampire. Vampire number B back here. I keep trying to grab it with that computer mouse, but that's a totally different computer. So it's not uh, Vampire B is going to kind of just start making its way into the fray. 
um, but also definitely in the direction of the blood. It did see Averlene make uh, an attack attempt, but did not pay attention to Grillin, so it is going to yell for Grillin, but it's going to make it here. And this one, Crush It, does notice you, so it's going to use its dash action and kind of come at you. Um, but it can't attack because it ran out of stones. Um, Brillin gets an attack of opportunity on it. I'm gonna try and punch it. Uh, already used it, her reaction, though. She did. Yeah, good point. That's a really big bummer because that was a nat 20, but good point. Okay, that one is <laughs> Sorry. safe. Teacher, teacher. Yeah. No, that's fine. That's okay. <laughs> Better. Adds more. Well, because I feel weird. I don't want to be the one to kill things, right? So, so I'm okay with it. Yeah. So that is the end of that vampire's turn, and if you can believe it or not, it's another vampire's turn, because there are so many of them. Well, it's so good, you gotta run it back. Yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, this, this one is gonna come for you, or actually, no, it's right there. It's gonna go for Brillin. You can see Brillin. It's gonna come up to Brillin, and it is going to do um, a multi-attack, so it's gonna attack first with its claws. Um, that does hit 2d4. Gosh. I feel like I've got, like, a whole new character here. And it's, I mean, I do. Alright, so that... That's a 1 plus... Okay, so that's a whopping 6 points of damage to Berlin. <laughs> um... <laughs> okay, and then it's gonna do that again, and it is going to attempt... Instead of dealing damage for this next one, it's going to attempt to grapple if it hits. So we shall see. We shall see. Uh, that doesn't hit, so it 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 slices forward to grab with its claws, and Brillin's just like, absolutely not. Get away from me. And um, dodges out of the way. That is that vampire's turn, and that moves on to Crush Crusk. Um, I'm really... Sorry, I was double checking. I My excuse for my boomer behavior is I was delivered dinner, so I am muting more often than usual. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, A likely story. I, <laughs> can you eat the bread? It just just kidding. Good time. <laughs> um, so, I am pretty disappointed. I was going to do a, a Kindrow special and flank somebody. Mm. Um, we love a good flank, we love a good but flank. now we Vampire love, Bees yeah. all up in my business. In your business. <laughs> yeah. In, straight in my business. I okay. got it. <laughs> so, I am going to... I'm going to do... I'm going to do a spell first uh-huh okay um i'm i would like to do divine favor brilliant which is a bonus action sweet i don't um, know what that does so make sure you explain it it's uh my prayer empowers me with divine radiance until the spell ends which is for a minute uh your weapon attacks deal an extra 1d4 radiant damage on a hit cool and i just i feel as jill i feel like vampires don't like radiant damage so they, I um, believe, are considered undead, right? So I think that... I don't think undead people like radiant damage either. Either way, I feel like I feel like that's good. Good. Um, and then I would like to whack Vampire B with my club. Whack away. Um, does a 16 hit? It does! <gasps> Excellent! Nice. Just right about, okay. but yeah, that's it. Um, d would you make me do anything special if I tried to stab this thing with my club? Yes, because your club is a bludgeoning, uh, is a bludgeoning weapon. You would, okay, uh, for that I would, you would have to hit and then make a, a strength check as well. Okay. Um, I'm, okay. Um, yeah. I would like to do that. Well, I'm going to still roll my damage anyway. Okay. So, what, 7 plus 4 is 11. So 11. I did do 11 damage anyway. Okay. And you would like me to strength check? Well... See if I can stab him a little bit? Would this be for another attack, a different attack, like a second? Um, sure. 
Okay. Sure, sure, sure. So go ahead and roll another attack for me. Just since you already did damage for that one, we'll count this as a, as a different... Oh, does a 22 hit? <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, it does. Yes. Okay, so now you want me to do the strength check to see if I can stab yes. him with it? Yes, yep. If I lose my strength check, can I still just bat bash him with it? Uh, it would be like smashing it and like hitting it in the chest. I'm going to go with, okay, yeah. Okay, that's fine. I'm yeah. good with that. As long as I still do some damage, like I don't want to waste all my damage. Yeah. If you hit the strength check, I'd let, I'd let you double. Oh. Yeah, no, so just a regular damage yeah. roll. <laughs> <laughs> But then I get to roll my extra d4. Um, so nine more damage. Nine more damage. Okay. Nice. So that's 20 damage total to Vampire B. Love. Good job. All right. Um, Valen. Oh wait, sorry, Crush. Are you all set? Are you gonna move or do anything else? Um, I don't uh, think so. Sorry, I just started reading something. There's so many things to read now that I'm <laughs> such a high level in. I know. Yeah, and it's, like, it's difficult. Oh! Yeah. Like with Orla, it's smash or yeah. smash, and now this is like. <laughs> yeah. Um. Smash and. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think, I think I'm good. Okay. But, you know, I, I, I don't think that I'm going to do a whole lot more. Okay. Uh, then Valen, uh, you're up. All right, with my 40 stealth, I'm going to move over here. Just remain hidden. Mm -hmm. uh, and then as the vampire I'm imagining is probably pretty focused on Tyson, um, I'm gonna try. I'm going to ignite my flame tongue rapier and at the same time try and drive it through its chest. Ooh, okay. With advantage, yes. Because because yeah. hidden. Yep. I brought my own flanking this time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So I will roll. So I use my bonus action to ignite my flame tongue rapier and I'll roll the hit. A nineteen. Yep. Cool. Um. Okay. Uh, Twenty-nine damage. Okay, 29 damage. Uh, 10 piercing, uh, 7 fire, 4 radiant, and 8 more piercing damage. Okay. Holy cannoli. Just make see if there's any specific uh, things that... So, sorry, it was 29 damage, you said? Yeah, let me make sure... Oh, and sorry. Uh... <laughs> I forgot some damages, uh, cause... I've got a pillar names over here, and wait, I... there's more. <laughs> wait, there's more! Um, let me see. Alright, so it did... Flame Tongue, Flame Tongue, Flame Tongue... Um... Where's, where's... Literally, where's the kaboom? There's supposed to be an earth-shattering kaboom. Um... There's supposed to be actually, uh, 2d8... Uh, did it already put in there? Flame Tongue... I don't think it did. Weird. All right. Um, so I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna add this too. So it's. Uh, is that not what the fire damage was? No, the fire damage is for my flame tongue rapier. We stack in all the damage. <laughs> so. I like everyone it, to see that when I pick up Oscar, he doesn't smash his face in the mind <laughs> in like a loving way. He goes. Down. Yeah. I. I'll, I'll look at it because I have a, I have a, I have a lot of a lot of a lot of damage. I'll look at it in a minute, but I think it's um, uh, a lot. Um, yeah, ten, seven, eight, yeah, and then so twenty nine plus twelve is okay. the total. Twenty nine plus twelve is forty one. Yep. Okay. Ooh, this vampire's looking pretty rough. He's still alive? Yes. Wasn't yeah. he at like 30-some before? That's how much damage they've taken. So he should be at like 70-some? He's like rough. She thick. Whoever. Don't like that. All right, cool. Noted. Right, here I am. <laughs> all right. Uh, that's, all for, that's all for me. Okay, perfect. Um, so then it is... 
One more vampire's turn. I just have to do, hang on, I have to do some math real quick. Uh, Um, so Vampire C, who is by Brillin, just gonna go ahead and try and do a bite attack on Brillin. Um, I haven't done one of those yet, so... Oh, it's actually gonna do a multi-attack, so it's gonna do a claw and a bite. So we'll start with claw. That does not hit at all, and then for the bite... Um, that also doesn't hit, so... That's Vampire C's turn. And we are back to the top of the round uh, with Brillin. Brillin! Come on, y'all. We can't let Brillin die if the <laughs> player's not here. Uh, yeah, for real. Uh, Brillin, <laughs> who... Um, <laughs> that's a bonus action. Brilliant. Um, so it's dark out now. Uh, so everything is dark around. Um, Brillin, feeling a little bit cornered, is going to just sort of disappear, and then all of a sudden pop up uh, behind Vampire E here. And, um... Oh, actually, you know what? No. They're gonna all of a sudden pop up here next to the Vampiric Priest. Uh, because they didn't like having a bolt of energy flung at them. Uh, so they are going to... No, that's a key point. Oh gosh, where are the key points? There are so many key points. Okay. <laughs> um, Don't all right, mind me so, measuring. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a second. That's not even a key point? <laughs> what is it? It's just a bonus action. Okay. Busted. <laughs> wow! Okay, cool. So not even a... Okay, nifty. So uh, they just popped over there, and now they're going to go ahead and uh, try to stab this person a couple times. They do get advantage on their first one. Uh, that definitely hits. Stabby, stabby. Um, so that's 13 points. Do they have any... Not. Okay, so 13 points for that first one, and then um, for the second one, they're going to try and hit again. Second attack. Uh, it's a big old bummer. That actually misses. Um, so that is Rillin's turn. Save so bonus action. Boop, 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 boop. Um. Yeah, so that do is... They have, do they have two attacks? They did, yeah, but they missed with one of them. Oh, okay. So that's Brillin's turn. So it's now the Priest's turn. And let me update that the Priest has been damaged also. And... Judas. No. 13 points of damage on the Priest. So now... Uh, it's the priest's turn, and obviously Brillin just did that situation, so displeased. Um, they're gonna try to attack twice with their soul blade against Brillin. Um, because they're in close range. That <sighs> misses. Did I hear soul blade? Yep. Okay. Love it. <laughs> both, uh, both soul blades, uh, missed, so... Good, good for Brillin for having the AC that they do. Um, the... For its uh, bonus action, the Vampiric Priest is going to reach out and touch one of its um, tattoos and a shadowy creature, like sort of like the ink leaving this priest's arm this shadow creature is going to materialize uh, behind uh, Brillin and uh, flank. Um, but that is... Uh, that is that. 
it is also going to, if I can open up a new tab here, here we go. They are going to um, make an attack on Berlin as well, because they get to go immediately after. Oh, they actually hit. That's so funny. This thing has, it's not at the same level, and that's the thing that hits. I just think that's funny. Okay. Um, 2d6. Okay. Interesting. That's spooky. Okie dokie. Okay, so. <laughs> Amazing. Um, so, four necrotic damage to Brillin. Um, and their strength score is reduced by four. Ooh. Ooh. Holy That's shit. Not... That's bad. Yep. <laughs> I mean, I guess in ter if you wanted someone to have their score reduced for strength, I guess it would be a monk. Um, but that is the Shadow Monster's turn. And now we move on to... That's a sick little attack. That's kind of cool. Um, Aveline, it is your turn. Excellent. I'm going to go ahead and take a step back. Go ahead and take your attack of opportunity. Okay. Um, I'm going to do a quick update of the map here. Okay, so that is from Vampire E. Uh, they'll just make a claw attack on you. Or actually... Now they'll make a bite attack on you. Sorry, does a 25 hit? Yeah. Okay. Are you good taking it? What? Do you want to take it? Yeah, I'm going to take it. Okay. Um, so that's nine points of piercing damage plus, um,. seven points of necrotic damage and your maximum hit points will be reduced by half of that necrotic damage so three so your max hit points go down by three Dang. until you do a long rest nope that's not right that's not the right number hold on there it is Then. Alright. <clears throat> Perfect. Now that I'm away from you and you you bite me, I didn't like that bite. I bet. Um Does a 14 hit? Um it just misses. Just misses, okay. How about a twenty? Yeah, definitely. Cool. Take 10 and move 10 feet back. 10 and 10 feet back. You got it. That's uh, Vampire E. So it's 37. So it's had 37 hit points done to it. And then take another 13 and move 10 more feet back. 10. Okay. 13. Okay. And then so that's 20 feet total. So 1, 2, 3, 4. There you go. And then this is actually... Sweet. Sweet. Anything else on your turn there, Everlene? Um. No. Okay. A vampire E is starting to look a little bit rough. You notice this. Uh, and now it's its turn, and it is going to just keep coming. It's going to claw its way uh, to Tyston this time and see if maybe it can do a little bit of a flank. Um, game plan is to skirt around the tree so it avoids 
getting an attack of opportunity unless you have lo something longer than 10 feet, Everleen. Okay. Nope. It's fine. Alright. Uh, Tyson, Vampire E is going to make a claw and a bite attack against you. Um, so get ready. All does right. an 18 hit? It does. Okay, that's the claw attack. That will be just eight points of pierce slashing damage. All right. And then for the bite attack, does a twenty a twenty two? I would assume hits. It does. Okay, okay sorry about that. Um. Okay, so uh, eight piercing damage, and. That's going to be 7 necrotic damage, and again, your max hit points will be reduced by 3. Alright. Hidoki, and that is going to be its turn. It's now Vampire Spawn A. Where is that on the board? Okay, over here by Valen. Valen, it has seen you. It is going to go for a bite and a claw attack on you as well. Oops. Okay, first... Claw, that's a 12 to hit. Nope. Doki, claw misses. Bite. That is a 21 to hit. Ooh. I'm gonna cast shield. Okay. So, that will make my armor class a 23. Yeah, you're good. Nice. You got rolled a 21, so you are all set. So, goes to bite you and just slams into something midair and stumbles back a couple steps. And that is Vampire A's turn done. Tyson, it is your turn. All right. I am going to use my bonus action to Hunter's Mark um, Vampire... Vampire E? Vampire E, which is this one. What color do you want yep. your Hunter's Mark to be? That's Let's make red. that purple. Purple, you got it. Um, and then um, Tyson is going to go ahead and uh, do a uh... Ooh, I don't know I think yeah, so I'm gonna Have him take a shot with his bow, but I believe because he's close range. I Don't have the feet Um would you consider this a humanoid? Like, what what race do you think this this, um, this creature would be? Probably undead, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess undead. It's a medium dead. undead, okay. yeah. All right. All right. Just checking here. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a um, take a shot at this creature in front of me uh, that I just hunter hunters marked. Um, now, Point Blake, if because uh, they're within five feet with me, that would normally give me disadvantage. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. I think. I believe so. Okay. Yes. So. Go ahead and roll two here. I gotta roll go. Oh. Fifteen. Just hits. Well, let me double check here. Go ahead and say something real quick. your mic or wait go ahead and say something again oh no Streamlabs does have to be on because you wouldn't get the the sound back from dis, uh, discord you have to have your Streamlabs mic on 
Okay. I, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't coming through double. Yeah, no, you're good. Rand. Okay. Yep. Um, okay. Uh, so I, I hit with that. Um, with Hunter's Mark, I get a plus six as well on that. Yeah. So that's nice. Oh, jeez. All right. Or plus uh, D6. Um, so eight damage, and then... Because they have taken damage there. All right. So you got eight plus five, and then an additional 1d6 here. All right, so 17 points of damage. Yep, 17 points for that first attack. And then if it's still... Um, standing there sure is all right i'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and load in another round go for it 19 oh wait sorry it, Let me yeah. Do that again. all right yeah, yeah 19 sure does hits. all right and then that is 12 points of damage This thing looks like it is in shambles, but it is somehow still standing. So sorry, one second, just looking at Hunter's Mark one more time. Yep. Okay, just creature until the spell ends. Okay, all right, so I get to add another D6. Yeah, all right. Two damage. Oh! How's, how's this going down? How's this going down? Uh, I'm not. That's silly. I'm not doing that. All right. I just, like, this thing uh, starts attacking me here, and I'm just like, ah, shh. I just, like, pull out. This two into the face. Just trying to drop this, uh, this vampire thing. Perfect. Somebody needs to help. I'm railing. All righty. Is that the end of your turn? Uh, um, actually, at that point, then I'm gonna go ahead and move. Is this is this thing still here? Or is it dead? Oh, dead. Yeah, look at that. It says yeah. dead. It's with dead. Like, seeing my balls. <laughs> I just yeah, just yeah. So uh, uh, Cody, that moving it is a bonus attack, a bonus action, right? So have you already used your bonus action to cast it this round? Oh no! Oh, not I'm not moving my hunter's mark. I'm just oh. moving my character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Vampire A, I think, would still get an attack of opportunity on you. So just so you're aware. Oh, gotcha. Hey, move um, next to it. Yeah, yeah. I guess I'll just go ahead and get closer. Okay. Blanket. Yeah. right next to it do i if i you know if i look back you know as i'm walking towards this do i see the other vampire spawn and the the creature that uh brillin is is fighting uh there's a lot of trees what's your passive perception i'll let you make a perception roll yeah okay um Perception. 25. Yeah, you'd be able to see. Okay, cool. All right, just trying to keep an eye on what's going on over there. Yeah. And that ends my turn. Cool. Beans. Speaking of beans, it's now Vampire Spawn B's <laughs> turn. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, and Crush, that, that is uh, over by you. And this bad boy... You know what they like to do. It's going to try and claw you, and then it's going to try and bite you. That's what it's got going on. Um, does a 24 hit? It's honestly kind of a valid question, because y'all are level, like, you're high level, so you might have, like, wild Girl, AC classes. Crush's AC is the same as Orla's, I think. Like, uh, we're oh. not... Okay. Crush does have way more hit points than Orla, though. I will point that out. This is a whopping seven points of slashing damage. Phew! I'm 
I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the burn. Oh no! Oh, and then shoot. for the bite attack, this dice never rolls this nicely for me when I play with Ishkan. I'm a little bit well, upset. Why don't you roll that Keyleth <laughs> dice for my attack so you can roll <laughs> jack shit? This is fifty. It's either a twenty or an, a one. Like it's you're gonna get critted on with that dice. It's gonna happen a couple times at least. <laughs> uh, that's a that's a fifteen. It's either all in or all out. So she's all out. That's not it. Uh, 15 doesn't hit. Right. You missed the bite. That's a good one to not have get ya. She's out of there. Yeah, so that is that. That's the vampire's deck. It's all done. Vampire spawn D is kind of hanging out by itself right now. It's, uh... It's gonna... What is it gonna do? How many people do we have out here? It's gonna be me. It's gonna be me. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna roll a d6 and uh, we're gonna see we're gonna see where it goes. One, two, three, four, five, three. Alrighty. For some reason, Tyson, it is on its way to you. It it saw you shoot its friend. <laughs> oh crap! Better better get him. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, more coming. <laughs> yep. Uh, so uh, dash that. Uh, Movement dash, that is its action. It is here. It doesn't have a bonus action, so that is its turn. It Man, is thing moves fast. right up behind you. <laughs> Crush! It's your turn! Crush! I mean, I think all that Crush can really do is try and crush this vampire bee. Yes, this is the way. <laughs> um, I want to cast more spells, but I don't think I can. Because I have to concentrate. The one I did. What did I do? Divine favor? Is that what I did? If yeah. the other spell you cast yeah. is on a concentration spell, you can you can always smite. I'll tell you, uh, smite. Where's smite? You're a paladin, right? Yeah. You should have the ability divine smite. Ah, oh, let me find. You can expend your spell slots to get more of them, more of the damage. I'm struggling with that action, but I'll figure it out at some point. <laughs> um, oh, there it is. Wait, Divine Smite? Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay, I can do that. What is that? That says special by it. Starting at the second level, blah, blah, blah. When you hit a creature, blah, blah, blah. Uh, oh, oh! Oh! I can do that while I'm concentrating on a spell. Yeah, yeah, if it's on a concentration spell, yeah. Excellent. So, but then, but I can do both then, right? So if I do Divine Smite, I you can also still add in my 1d4 from my other thing. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Wow. Magic is cool. Magic is cool. Okay. Um, yeah. I would like to Divine Smite this man. A vampire thing. <clears throat> um... They do have to hit it with a melee weapon, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Easy. I'm gonna try and hit it with my club. Motherfucker. <laughs> I bet 11 doesn't work. It doesn't. I'm really sorry. Great. Can I... Oh, is this an, an action or a bonus action? It looks like a bonus. No. I think it's just after you hit. Oh, it's just a thing? Mm-hmm. <gasps> That's amazing. Okay, I'm gonna whack again with my club. Paladins are real good. I believe that. 24. Okay. That, bad, bad. that definitely hits. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I will expend the spell slot to do extra damage. So let me roll my regular damage. That's a 9. Let me roll my 1d4 for my other thing. That's a 2, so that's 11. Then I have to read the rules. Um. Blah, blah, blah. Cody, do you have eyes on uh, Oscar? He is a okay. I thought I heard. Oh, oh! I'm. I, you know what? Since I well, missed so. my first thing, I'm gonna do this as a third level thing. Ooh. I know that's kind of spicy. I, ooh, we're spicy we, we, we love spice. We love a good spice. Yeah. So well, I put I'm in just two dryer sheets. Use the magic, you know. Yeah. Um, 
Okay, so extra damage is 2d8 for first level plus 1d8 for each spell slot level higher. So three. And you have Im- you have improved divine smite as well. So oh, whenever I do you have hit. That. Yep. I'll see you get an additional 1d8 on top of your standard wow. divine smite. Wait, That's 4D8? I just get to do this every time I hit something? Well, if you use the Divine Smite, also they're undead, and I think you get an extra one. Yeah. So that's 5d8? Wait, 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 wait. So wait, last turn when I didn't do anything extra after bashing him with my thing, I could have done this as well? Yeah. I guess. Some cost <laughs> fallacy. That's yeah. crazy! <laughs> okay, so Level now 12. that's... It's a 5d8. So 4d8. No, it's 5, because it's undead. It's 5. It's 5d8. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna freak out. Smash. I'm really excited. <laughs> or sorry, it shouldn't be smash. Brush. Brush. <laughs> Five d8s. I've never seen so many d8s in my I, life. I, fifteen, 15 it, more. Fifteen more. So that's uh, more. it's twenty-six total, right? Uh, I don't remember all the numbers I said, but that sounds right. <laughs> yeah, that you did eleven and then fifteen, so that's twenty-six. That, yeah. That's great. Nice. Amazing. That's. That's incredible! So vampires starting to yeah. look a little, uh, you know, they're on the struggle bus. Just imagine if I'd hit him twice with my club. I know, he'd be probably dead. Damn it. Booyah. Alrighty. Crush, do you have anything else? I would, I, I'm not gonna lie though, I would kind of like it if Crush's, like, slogan was Smash. <laughs> and not Crush. <laughs> I imagine, like, when they were having to fill out, you know, information for being a, like, a, a, an adventurer. What's your name? Crush. What's your second, what's, what's your surname? I said Crush. <laughs> well, it can't be the same, so I'm gonna write Krusk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, I think that's all I'm gonna do. I'm so, I'm just so amazed that I can do that all the time. It that's crazy to me. That's so nice. It is amazing, Valen. It is your turn. You are up. All right. So I'm. So I'm gonna say I looked at my character sheet and I found out that I missed out on damage. Yep. <laughs> well, uh, sucks to suck. It sure does. Uh, all right. So so I. So what I'm gonna do is uh, fun thing about spiritual weapon. Okay, spiritual weapon itself cannot flank. However, oh my gosh, it's so big. I'm gonna cast spiritual I, I, weapon. I love it. Uh. <laughs> Here's a cool thing about about spiritual weapon, okay? If you are flanking, spiritual weapon has advantage. Hey, there you go. Yep. So we're gonna try that. There's a 20 hit. The the thing. Excellent. <laughs> uh eight eight damage. Wow, a spiritual weapon that actually hits things. I uh, wish I knew what that felt like. <laughs> My cleric never wanted to do that. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's why you gotta you gotta cast it with the uh, double with the checking. Thing. That was on uh, was that on Vampire A? Uh, that was on Vampire A. Yeah. Uh, how's this going down? Uh, so Valen will uh, after after you know casting the shield, uh, she'll kind of like dispel the shield and she'll point at it as if to challenge it. Uh, and as he, like, takes the stance to, like, you know, run at her, uh, this spectral dagger just goes, like, straight through his neck. Nice. All right, cool. So that was my bonus action. I'm going to walk <laughs> over here. Uh, and I'm going to change... I'm going to change my color to... I'm going to take this, like, black color. Yeah, go for it. And I'm going to have this also be black. Um, and then I'm actually going to do my attack with my flame tongue rapier with advantage. Does a 19 hit? Absolutely, yep. Excellent. All right, cool. So hang on a second. So we got, so we have 30 damage before uh, our, our big our big hit. So um, 30 damage, and then we also get uh, two more d8. Uh, and that is 14 more. Okay. So we're at... So you were at 30 damage, and now we're adding yep. 14, so 44 damage. Yep, 40, 44 damage. And Woo! if it and if it moves, uh, it takes more damage. All right. It's already looking rough. This is fantastic. <laughs> this is terrifying. Excellent. 
A red head. No matter how it moves. Yeah, what if it gets moved? That's a great question. Uh, if if it gets moved, it will read and get back to you. Okay. I might rule Start a bullet reading. and say yes. I'm gonna say I yes. Plans. I have the power. <laughs> I'm saying yes. Uh, and that'll 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 do it. It says willingly. It does right. say the words okay. willingly, but if you're gonna rule a cool it, I'm rule, rule cool it. it. That sounds fun right. to me. We're it'll it'll cool. take an extra three d eight. Okay. If it does. If if it gets pushed, remember to three d eight and let me know what it is. We'll do. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, Vampire C is gonna uh, join the tag team over here on Brillin. Uh, and it's just gonna do its uh, fancy schmancy little uh, claw bite. Because it does. Actually, it's gonna do a claw and then a claw to grapple. Let's see if it can slow up. That absolutely misses. Holy moly. And that just barely hits. Okie dokie. Yes. So now, well, we'll, we'll see what uh, Brillin rolls here. Oh, uh, Brillin easily just wiggles right out of that. No big deal. Um, that is Vampire C's turn. And we are up to the top of the round, which is Brillin. Uh, Brillin, seeing that this creepy shadow situation is here, this vampire's here, Brillin's gonna go for the priest in the hopes that if the priest dies, the shadow will die. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, stab, stab, and see see what happens here. 15. Does a 15? Sure does. Okay. So eight points of this. Okay. Round two. Uh, yep, that definitely hits. Good job, Brillin. And they're gonna use a spend a key point to do flurry of blows here and do a punch punch. Um, get down to the key points. I do apologize, there probably won't be any fun clips from me um, as Brillin, just because I don't <laughs> fully know the voice, so... Okay, so another seven with the fist, and then one more punch! Sixteen does hit. That's another thirteen. Alright, this priest is looking rough. They have... Um... They have really gotten it handed to them here. Um, that is going to be Brillin's turn, and now it is the priest's turn. Uh, no, I don't want to try that for free. Um, they're going to go ahead and use their soul. I don't know if you all heard the computer noise that I came through. The uh, soul blade. 10 plus, that does not hit, and they're going to try it again, because if they use Necrotic Bolt, it would be at disadvantage, because it's ranged. And that, again, does not hit. They slash and slash at Brillin, but Brillin's too fast. Brillin's moving out of the way. And now we got this creepy little shadow. Plus four, okay. Uh, oh my gosh, it rolled a one. <laughs> The shadow rolled a one. Wow, oh. that's a bad shadow. It is a bad shadow. Let's see what happens to our friend the shadow here, shall we? <laughs> Pulling out my fun roll and play press situations. I do love their tables because it's just like, some things are just odd and yeah. some things are just just great. 60, I gotta 60. The yeah, very like I, I will say, like as a player, I really enjoyed. It, it, this is the same thing that we got the the rice blade from, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as a player and as a game master and a storyteller, love it. Brilliant. Yeah. Valen, just... useless, throws yeah. it away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> understandable. Understandable. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we'll do. Valen ain't got time for that. Yeah. <laughs> great if you need a quick snack but yes. yeah there you go <laughs> and i love rice i think rice is great yeah, best. um 
press that. Uh... Oh, great. Okay, so uh, the shadow slashes its creepy little spectral claws towards Brillin, and it kind of like falls in on itself, uh, shooting wide, and Brillin gets an attack of opportunity on it. Um, nice. Launch. Brillin, being a level 12 monk, now has magical fists. We'll use its fists to try and hit. Punch a shadow? Yes, punch the shadow. Does this actually work? Oh, I cannot believe that works. Yeah, that hits. Alrighty. That is okay. The shadow is looking rough. <laughs> so everybody knows. Um, I don't know how I'm going to remember that. Got because some light that's fine. peeking out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we just mark it with red. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, I can, yeah, I can do. I can say minus eight here. Okay. Um, that is the priest and the shadows' turn. And uh, Avraline, you are up. Excellent. Uh, the plan worked so good last time. We're gonna do it again. I'm gonna take a couple steps back. You may have your attack of opportunity. Uh, that is <clears throat> vampire D. A. Um, One could argue it might not have paid attention to me. It had its eyes on Tyson, but I'm in its range. So we're gonna yeah. we're gonna do a claw attack. It's just gonna reach out with you with a claw. Um, twenty twenty four to hit. That I'm indeed hits. Keep using. I'm gonna start using the dice in our other campaign more. <laughs> uh, that's a whopping four points of damage. Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh, wait. Five points of damage. I'm so sorry. Oh. I know. Oh, dear. Big difference. Uh. Anyways. Does a 25 hit? Absolutely. Neat. I'm going to do eight damage, and I'm going to push it ten feet. All right. And that uh, eight damage, you said, to the D? And ten feet, which means it gets its... Uh, Booming blade damage. Yeah, and technically, because it got pushed away Nine from Tyson, doesn't Tyson get an opportunity attack on it? I guess technically, technically no. And I guess technically Valen would too. Yeah. <laughs> Rules as written, I don't think so. But if you want a rule of cool, it we'll take. Oh it. well, we'll just do the we'll just do the three d eight because that might. That was nine damage. Nine damage. You know what? Yeah, attack of opportunity. Go, go, go. All right. I like hitting things. Yeah. Need two more shot. Oh, but you can slaughter okay. it, and I can point point elsewhere. All right, I, I guess uh, I'll take a I'll take an attack with my with my rapier, <laughs> uh, but a twelve doesn't hit, does no, it? No, it does not. No. Natural one for a fourteen. Oh! Let me, one. <laughs> Let me get on my handy dandy charts. Yes. Oh no. Oh jeez. Okay. Say goodbye to your bow. Yep. Uh, on the ground to one. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Go, uh, darn it. Shoot! <laughs> That's I just how I imagine Tyson uh, talking. Gold darn it! Gold darn it! <laughs> uh, you, as you release the arrow, um, something knocks you a little bit off balance. You don't know if it's a little bit of ice underneath your foot, whatever, but you do slip and fall prone. Just like face <laughs> first into some mud and ice, like. Blue. You're blue because you're prone. You're sad. Just just like yelling into the mud. <laughs> Excellent. Gold, oh, darn it! <laughs> Ain't no gold in here. <laughs> and I missed my other two shots, so you are good you to go. You did. Okay. Wow. I rolled an eleven and a thirteen. Wow. Dang. All right, uh, Tyson. You may have fallen down, but it is now your opportunity to get up. It's your turn. I take my half movement to get myself back up. And um, I am going to. Do, 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 do. Um, since I I kind of feel like everybody has kind of a. Well, no, I'm going to use my bonus action to um, move Hunter's Mark to this uh, the the guy that just got shot away from us. Okay. Um. And then I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, take uh, take a shot 
into that creature. 26. That absolutely does not... No, it, it does not miss. <laughs> it hits it. <laughs> um, so, 10 damage to start. And okay. then with the Hunter's Mark... Well, actually, uh... Colossus Slayer, that gives us two damage on top of that, so 12 total right now. Okay. And then with the Hunter's Mark, we've got uh, an extra one, so 13 damage. Alrighty, this this particular vampire is looking very rough. It's in tatters, it's not feeling its best, it's pretty sad looking. It's still around, okay. okay. Um, it was pesky and dead. Ugh, awful. And then for uh, the next next step here, I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, I figure I'll I'll just try and finish this guy out here. Okay. Just looking at some other things to do, but that's all right. Okay. Ooh, natural twenty. All right. Uh, hits. <laughs> Weird. All right, and then um. Yeah, 15 How's this, damage. How's uh, going down? To start. How's it then... going down? It's 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 you're, you're it's dead. Well, I add an extra one. Ah, that, 16. So. It's extra <laughs> <Yeah>. dead. <laughs> extra dead. How is this All going right. down? All right, as uh, as he shoots the the first arrow, you know, it just kind of gets gets into the chest a little bit, um, and then Tyson just like tries to draw that one arrow, and then just kind of like slows down just a little bit, breathes in. Let's go, releases, and then, um, and then just like the way the, the angle of the arrow, it's got a bit of a, a, more of a bladed, you know, tip at that. It just catches the neck and just somehow severs it right off. And the, and the head like flies off into the river. Nice. You do notice that when the head falls into the river, before it sinks, it does sort of start to sizzle and smoke. At the touch of fresh water. What the heck? Ah, ah. That's kind of nasty. Water's not good for these things. There you go. <laughs> and then um, I'm gonna use the rest of my movement to get as close to um, to Brillin as we can. Go for it. Uh, so what is that for us? We got 15 feet here. Okay. Run to there. That ends my turn. Alrighty. Vampire B. You know what? It's going to do its favorite uh, doobly do, which is a claw and a bite against our friend Crush. Does a 17 hit. Ugh, yes. Really? Yeah, I'm a 16. Do you have your armor on? Yeah, that's even with my armor. Okay, 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 okay. Why are you being such a hater? I'm not. I'm trying to help you. Uh, you that's... literally assisted me with armor because I was like, my AC is five. And you were like, you need some armor. Yeah. So. I'm sorry. And that was a while ago. I just ago. imagine Cru Eight. Crush Crusk is just like the, you know, Boromir from, from Lord of the Rings. Crush Crusk has no armor. Crush Crusk <laughs> needs no armor. <laughs> and it just... It, looks at him and walks away. <laughs> um, that's eight points of slashing Dianya. I don't appreciate it, but thank you. Yeah. Um, so I switched to the Keyleth dice just for you. Does and... a 23 hit? <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what, Big Bertha? I want you to get up and I want you to put those Keyless dice in the toilet right now and flush. No, I no. Uh, <laughs> Brilliant. You did this to yourself. So um, that is okay. So that's nine for that. And then for this, that's one. Okay, so um, four points of piercing damage plus nine points of necrotic damage with four of the with four being removed from your max hit points. Well, I don't know how to do that. Okay, I'll do that. I'll go into your character so it, for you. Is it nine plus four? Is that the math you told me? Yeah, nine plus four for damage, and then I will remove the stuff, don't worry. 
you. Yeah. Um. That's the vampire's turn, like and that. Crush, it's your turn next. Yeah, well, now that I learned I can do this super bashing the shit out of it, I'm gonna bash the shit out of it. <laughs> but superly. <laughs> I just truly assumed the whole time that that was, like, bonus action stuff, and I, like, kept using my bonus actions. But it's just stuff. That's very <laughs> cool. All right. Bashing with a club. Motherfuck! A 12. That does not That's hit. not it. No. An Sorry. 11! Oh, no! Can you, like, cast guidance on me in the ground. No! Just, like, Bury me, me in the ground. Wet. What? <sighs> you have anything you can do for like a like a bonus uh, spell or anything? That's what I'm gonna look at. Okay. <laughs> Let me click on the bonus action button. Sorry, 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 sorry. Very salty. It's probably because I just had pizza bread. It was a little salty. A little salty. Um, <clears throat> big fan of the pizza bread. Mm. So. Good. Thank you. Yes, it's good. Um. Big fan of um, uh, pizza rolls too, but only out of the oven or the air fryer. I haven't had pizza oh, rolls. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. This sounds amazing right now. What about a pizza right? bagel? Bagel. Ooh, out on that. Bagel. Too rubbery. Don't like it. Okay. What if you like home uh, make it? If I like make it on my own bagel, yeah. that I pick, I'm in. That's I'm in on that. Yeah, but okay. if I'm buying it like the pizza bagels from elsewhere, like I don't, I can't trust that bagel. I don't know where that bagel's been. Bagels, yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna eat someone I... else's sketch bagels. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> want some no, no. Bagels. I love the bagel talk. I'm into that. Dalen, you um, are on deck. Just FYI. Yep. Well, I'm busy taking a very dramatic turn. So. Oh. oh. Um. Okay. I think I can do sanctuary. Here's the thing, as a person, I don't think I'm very good for magic because I'm so nervous about using my spell slots because I don't want to be out of them. Right. But I don't ever want to do the magic. Here's here's something that maybe will help you feel less bad about not doing the magic. Sanctuary is something that you do to either protect yourself or oftentimes others, and you're evil. So would you really protect anybody else? No, no, I would just do me. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, that, 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 that works. I of protecting anybody else. Oh, fair enough. Okay. I, since I can't hit shit, I feel like I should protect myself in some way. Sure. Okay, One other thing about I... Sanctuary, um, just so yeah. you know, I guess it'll be good for, like, those neck... Never mind, yeah, because I think that goes before you, but yep. if you attack, Sanctuary goes away. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, it was oh, wait, okay. But it does, but it, yeah. But it will help protect against any attacks while yeah. you're up. So if something's going to yeah. attack you before that, before your next turn, then like, that's going to be good. I do feel like Vampire B might attack me <laughs> before my next turn. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. Fireball. Here's the thing. I don't think any of my friends <laughs> like me. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know that I should count on anyone saving me. I got well, no problem with you. You got problems with me. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Um, you, yelled, you yelled at me last week. <laughs> you wanted to you beat just... me up, so <laughs> that's on I you. Held something, I held something high above your head like a toddler. <laughs> it was like, eh, you can't get it. Um, okay, I'm going to cast Sanctuary on myself. Okay. I guess. Yeah. It would be nice to get the chat uh, a way to include a fireball in for us, because we could probably use it. Yeah. <laughs> There we go, now yep. we got some flanking. <laughs> All right, and well, we're gonna move this here. Uh, so I guess first we're gonna start off with our uh, our bonus action of moving our, our little our little thing there, uh, our spiritual <laughs> weapon. And then we're going to go ahead and, and use that. We Again, we have flanking, so we get advantage with our spiritual weapon, 21 hits. Sure does. Excellent, 12 damage, okay. max damage. Nice. Love it. Love to see it. Uh, and then we have uh, rolling to hit uh, 24 hits. Sure does. Perfect. Oh, not good damage. 21 damage before uh, Booming Blade. Okay. Uh, booming Blade uh, does an additional um, 14, and if it moves, it'll take 3d8. 
Alrighty, how is this going down? So I think Valen sees that uh, Crush Krusk has um, is 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 worried about this vampire, but not really showing it. Still looking like super tough. Uh, so she will uh, mentally direct her uh, her uh, spiritual weapon, which is a dagger shaped like a spider, to go flying through the uh, the vampire, and then she will charge up and uh, stab uh, directly through the the vampire, and then like. Try to dust it if she can. She does do radiant damage if that helps. So she's gonna try and like uh, thrust her rapier through it and like twist it and pull it out, trying to kill it. I uh, yeah, I'll let it happen. It is dusted. It is just the wind is blowing just perfectly so that all of the dust flies onto to crush, but it doesn't actually touch crush because there's this magical force field around, so you see this sort of, like, like Crush is standing there, and then there's this, like, dusty outline around with a little bit of space in between. Uh, Valen will say, not too worry, darling, and, like, kind of pretend to, like, dust off uh, Crush's uh, um, uh, shoulders and say, we're all on the same side here. And then she'll turn to uh, to face the remnants of, uh, of what's going on over here. Perfect. I think that's all. I think I can move exactly here. Okay. So, let's see, I was, I was here, 5, 10, 15, 20. I can actually move right here is my furthest movement, and that's right. that's what I do. Okay, perfect. Um, um, I do hate to say that I'm a total dick, and I'm like, I, I could have gotten, I could have gotten him. I, I would have killed him. Uh, she winks at you as she, as she leaves. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Vampire C is going to attack Brillin. It's uh, what you call it now? That hits. All right, two D four. So that oh dang, that did a really good job. So that's ten points of damage, and then for their second attack, they're gonna forego damage and again try to grapple Brillin. Um, okay. Let's see if they hit. They sure do. Okay, Brillin has to make They just escaped it. Okay, so Brillin is still not grappled, but is looking a little bit worse for wear. Um, and now it is Brillin's turn. Brillin, ever focused, I guess, uh, will in fact be trying to finish off this priest once and for all. She is going. Oh, I can roll on here. So she is going to. That definitely hits. And um, Brillin is going to turn away from the priest and stab backwards the short sword right into um, the priest's chest. Um, just right into the heart and Brillin's going to face Vampire C and as the priest screams and dies the shadow snuffs out of existence and all that's left is Vampire C so nice. as yeah, yeah, as Brillin leaves the sword they're going to come around and slash with their other short sword um, that hits. 8 points of damage to Vampire C Okay, and then they're gonna go ahead and use another flurry of blows and punch it twice. They're feeling a little desperate, so they're really trying to kill this thing. That just barely hits. That's good, that's 12 points of damage. And then one more punch! Definitely hits. That's another 11 of points of damage. This vampire is looking rough, but is still very much standing and facing Brillin. Luckily, it is Averline's turn. Excellent. You're gonna watch Averline uh, kind of duck, dive, dip, dodge her way through the through the woods, bring herself over here into the open look at this vampire and go, you're dead. 
A nat one. Oh boy, let me get my fancy schmancy chart. Oh, oh. Go snap. What will happen? Oh, snap. What will happen? Gotta roll my... I never get to use shoots my, like, Braylon. D100, so this is very exciting. Shoots, shoots Braylon. I shoot Braylon. <laughs> Ooh, you feel overwhelmed by this miss. You're very embarrassed. Make a successful roll or miss the next round. Sort of like a death saving throw. You want to be above, what, like a 10? Right for that? So roll a, roll D20. a D20. Yeah, and if you're above a 10, you're good to go. Or not, roll the five. Ooh. Oh. Oh. All right, so Ooh. instead of having you miss a whole round, I'm just gonna have you miss the rest of your turn. Sounds good. Okay. Next up is. Tyson. All right, so. Uh, Tyson, do I have a visual of. You might have to move a little bit. Uh, like, not a ton, but like, if you move over here, these are bushes, so you'd be able to see above those, but to get a good clear line, you might have to be, like, more through there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move over here to get a good, like, a closer view here. Okay. And then, um, bonus action, I'm gonna go ahead and put my Hunter's Mark, transfer it on over to that uh, creature there. Um, and then, yeah, gonna go ahead and try to unload two arrows into this creature here. Almost in that 20 there. 27. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. 15 to start. Okay. And then, um... Additional D8 for Colossal Slayer, so okay. 20 damage at this point. Yep. And then a D6 added. Additional three damage there uh, for the first shot. Okay. How's it going down? Oh, all right. Um, so I see this uh, this guy who's trying to attack Brillin. Brillin just deflecting blows right and left. Um, and uh, I'm just like, all right. I hope I don't shoot her with this, but all right. And he just just takes his one arrow, takes his takes his breather here, and just a clean shot right to the back of the back of the neck. Brilliant. Wow. Oh. And with that, we are out of combat. So it's all free actions. You can do whatever you want to do. Um. Oh. Let's go ahead and take like a five minute bio break. Um, it's 10 o'clock. Uh, there's one more thing I'd like you all to at least get to today. You have a choice to make. If you want to, you have a simple puzzle to solve um, to get you to the next leg, but uh, we'll decide that when we come back from the bio break. Sounds great. Okay. All right. Good. Welcome back! <laughs> Tonight on Melon, be smell it. No, uh, we're back with our uh, just super scary hunting party. You've killed all of these vampires. What do you do? What are you doing now? What are you doing next? I mean, we loot, we, we loot them. All right, you have. Okay. <laughs> uh, who, uh, the, there's the priest to loot, there is the. and then five vampires. Who would like to do what? I gotta see what wanna, this dark priest has. Go ahead, sorry. I wanna loop Vampire B because I feel like I should've killed him. Okay. And so I'm just gonna take ownership. Vampire B says ye. All right, we'll start with Vampire B and then we'll go to the uh, super creepy, super creep uh, priest. Here we go. All right. Oh, the itchy nose. Um, you find on your vampire B a 
goopy burgundy liquid that looks a little Ooh. bit like it might be on fire. Um. Okay. You take it. Is it like in a bottle? Yeah, it's in a bottle. And it's on fire in a bottle? There's like flames coming up off the liquid, yeah. Inside the bottle. What are these magic flames? I mean, it's a potion, so yeah, it looks like it probably would be like a magic potion flame. Mm -hmm. Can I do something to try and figure out what that is? Uh, you can do an arcana check. Sure, I'm not terrible at that, but I've kind of been rolling like shit. Okay, it's gonna be a pretty high DC. Oh, 17! 17! Um, it is definitely a magic potion, and those are definitely magic flames, but unfortunately, other than that, you're not entirely sure what this potion's gonna do. But it is magic. Blah, blah, blah. You do know that something about okay. this is enchanted. It's, it's a magical potion. Okay. It's more I'm than a healing take potion. It. All right, you have one taking it with me. mystery spicy po potion. <laughs> oh, can I ask my friends what it is? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can ask if they if they do. You want to do? There's one other thing. Do you want to know what that is? That's on the thing. Yes, of course I want to know what that is. You uh, also find, oddly enough, a uh, small instrument about the size of a. Soprano ukulele, very small. It's made of a very dark wood. You're not sure if it's stained, but the wood is almost like a pitch black. I smash it with my club. All right, it is broken. Amazing. It Don't was like a magical, uh... Oh! <laughs> a magical <laughs> thing where you would have been able to get an advantage on any performance checks, but it's smashed. All righty! <laughs> oh, no. Well, we're on brand. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that. Crush, crush. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. I will hold up my potion and ask my friends, anybody know what this is? I don't have identify. I don't think any of us do. Amazing. I'm just going to put it in my backpack then. And then hopefully, and then try it and see what happens sometime. It will well, sit. Mm, I'm good for now. You can always smell it. It might have something for you there. Yeah, well, you can smell it. Do you want me to open it for you? Yeah. <laughs> he grabs a potion. Right? No, 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 you sure don't. <laughs> Crush would not trust that in your hand. <laughs> Crush opens it and holds it up to your nose for you to smell it. I sniff it. What does it smell like? Beth? Oh, what does it smell like? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> the potion. Um, you so you op you uncork it? I did, yeah. Well, sorry, I crushed it. Crush Just uncorked it. Sure. Yeah. I sniffed it. It poured Cody. It yeah. It smells like very acrid. And, and bitter. You'd think with the flames that maybe you would smell something sort of like a campfire, something smoky, but it's not. It's very acrid. It's very sharp. Um, sort of like chemicals maybe burning rather than something organic burning. Oh, it's not good. Put, put it back. I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> Okay, put it Looks back interesting. <laughs> what else is out on these things? I should start searching more of the bodies. Um, yeah, so uh, Valen is searching the vampire priest. Valen, you notice there are some boots on this priest, and um, they have claws That's on them. Priest. Okay. You can take those if you're interested. Are are they going to uh, are they going to clash with what I'm wearing? It's black fur, so I don't know if that... Oh, yeah, I'm wearing black leather. That's oh, fine. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Um, you also find on their body um, a few different spell components. You find a three-pound copper ingot. Um, you find ten hydra scales. Ooh. 
and um, you also find a little vial with um, blood from some sort of creature, animal, and um, also a small jar with a piece of rotten uh, food in it. Oh, gross. Yeah. Um, and then uh, last but not least, you see a little book. Small, small book. And it is called... Are you interested in the book? Do you want to look at it? Yeah, what does it say? I'll thumb through it real quick. Yeah. It's called Heavenly Secret. She definitely had some some light reading that uh, she did. Is it, that had... is it like, is it evil or is it like, like actually like, what's the, if I thumb through and kind of look through it, what is it? Yeah, onto the cover is etched a, a shirtless half orc that somehow has long flowing blonde uh, hair. He's ripped. He has a sword held up in one hand, like a foot in the Captain Morgan pose on a rock. And um, in in his arms is uh, something else, another thing. I don't know. Whatever. Insert your favorite uh, <laughs> <laughs> heritage there. And uh, it's definitely like a romance novel. It's not anything special in terms of magical, um, but fun to read if you'd like. Tyson uh, walks up and sees the cover and says, Oh, that's actually really good. He, <laughs> he's good. He really gets the blood flowing. <laughs> uh, Valen will, like, like look at him like, I'm sorry, I was going to make a crack, but you... And she'll say, Oh, well, it seems like it's a first edition signed copy. Why don't you hold on to this? And she'll hand oh, it to my... Tyson. Yeah! That's going to stow in his back <laughs> Um, also, the the priestess has uh, about ten gold on her. For anyone who searches a vampire, uh, roll a d6, and whatever number that it lands on, that is the num- amount of gold that the vampire has on it. Um, Tyson, you're checking out a vampire body? Yeah. You got it. Um, you... This is perfect for Tyson, I feel like. You find five yellow beads on one of these vampires. Uh, they're breakable. They definitely right. appear to be magic. What do they do? Who knows? No one knows. No one knows. <laughs> All right. All right. Is anybody uh, else <laughs> searching a vampire? I think there's three more vampires to search. Um, I'll search another one if nobody else wants yeah. to. Yeah. Um, I did also roll a d6 for my gold, but I was playing with buttons, and I rolled it to just myself, and now I don't know how to roll it, change it so everyone can see my rolls again. Oh, I don't know either. What'd you roll, though? Amazing. Uh, just like the button where you click the dice button, and then off to the right of it, there's a little drop down that I could click, and I clicked it, and I we'll, said, well, hey, I'll click that button. We'll let you do it again? We'll let you click it again? No, there's no, there's no thing to the right now. Huh. Mm. Intriguing. You might have to refresh D&D. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. Do it. I'll do it. Um, I will search in the meantime. D- vampire. I don't, what vampires left? I did B. Uh. C. E. And A. Okay. I'll d- I'll do vampire A. Alrighty. Yeah. Um, you, you find, what am I liking? What am I feeling? I'm feeling, I'm feeling spicy. Uh, ah, yeah, here we go. This is the one that I wanted. Uh, yeah. You find, um, it's wearing a patchwork cloak, and it's made from different skins. Um, not animal skins, humanoid skins, so that's pretty grody. Ew. 
Um, you can take that bad boy if you want. That uh, sounds right up Crush's alley. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so gross to me, but I do agree <laughs> that I think that Crush probably doesn't hate it. You um, also find a finely crafted golden hilt and then broken blade of a longsword. This would act as a plus one dagger. It's super sharp, even though it's broken. Ooh, yeah, I want that. Does the cloak do anything cool, or it is it just... smells really bad? I'm sure it does. That is cool. <laughs> Wait, but it doesn't offer, like, any kind of protection or anything? It I have a question pockets. about the broken longsword. It's mine. Is... You can't have it. it has uh, I don't want it. Yeah, what's your, uh, <laughs> what's your question? Are the other pieces there? No. Darn. All right. Oh. I was going to say, I have mending. Oh. 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 Um, they're not there, but you might find them later. Um, the coat has pockets. Right, but doesn't do anything technically <laughs> cool. You'd have to check the pockets. Well, I guess I'll check the pockets, but I'm so icked out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of them is a pocket of holding, and it can hold up to 100 pounds of things. Um, write that down, because I made that up in my brain right now, and I'm not going to remember it, so write that down. So you can fit... <laughs> And a hundred pounds of whatever into that that pocket, and it won't, it won't uh, impact anything. You might want to figure out what's in there right now, though, if there's anything in there. You can. Well, you can... yeah, I'm gonna rummage around in there while I. I mean, I put my hand in there anyway, so. I think you have to think of things for it to come out, or you can flip it inside or out. Dump it out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I would dump it out. Yeah, it's just like twenty pounds of human teeth. They just come, <laughs> just come pouring That's onto a big pile. Horrible. That must be where all that smell's coming from. Those yeah. Teeth. That might, that might help the jacket. There's two vampires left. Is anyone... Teeth, my dude. I think they all have teeth. gingivitis. <laughs> is anyone checking the other two vampires? I will keep the stupid gross coat, but I hate it. Okay, I like gross it. Gross coat. <laughs> Fantastic. Anyone else uh, checking a vampire? Or are we? No, Everlyn's pretty set on She's chill. accomplishing this mission. Okay. Yeah, okay. Was continuing. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah. So um, we'll come back to him later. So let me let me just do something for Brillin and see if Brillin can give y'all a hand here. All right. So Brillin is kind of right where they were. They're they're sort of staring off through the trees sort of northwest and they're peering around um, they checked a little bit about the vampire next to them but they haven't really done much they're more looking at something through the trees trying to figure out what it is does anyone want to go over and help them look or I'm pretty good at perception especially at this time of day there you go Evelyn, darling, I have an idea. Well, um, and it looks like our friend Brillen might also be onto something. I'm wondering if we shouldn't try, um, our hand at finding some sort of secret passage in underneath. Uh, uh, our previous guide, Lolf rests his spirit, um, mentioned something about a cave. If we could enter it, we might be able to find and clear out uh, silently a way of egress um, and uh, would be an easy way for us to uh, to leave quickly if we, our presence is detected. What do you think? Yeah, that, uh, that's a good thought. Uh, I'm always down for the sneaky, sneaky route, you know that. Uh, Valen will look at Brillen and kind of like, now what has your attention, darling? There's something through the trees, but I just can't quite figure out what it is from here. I don't want to get any closer, but can you see that? Does that look like something there in the, in the cliff face? Go ahead and make a, a perception check, definitely with advantage, since it's being pointed out. Uh... Uh, 26. Yes, so you can see 
through the trees across the way there that there is definitely the opening to a cave in the cliffside. So you've located a cave. Okay. Uh, and I can actually see a little bit inside of it because I'm in dark vision. There you go. Um, it looks like it is a, a cave made of, of rock. Um, you you see a little bit... Um, it looks pretty much like pretty normal cavey, but you do see some like smears of dried blood uh, in some of the snow around the mouth of the cave. This may be where the vampires had their lair uh, before they died just now. Yeah. Um, and I guess I should show the world, the cave. Ta-da. Here's the cave over yonder. Y'all seeing something over there? There appears to be a cave. Perhaps we can make our entrance quietly. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, you know, we're miss missing out on the on the great climbing gear that I sold my body for. But all right, yeah, let's go. I'm sure that you can work out you can work out an apology when you return the climbing gear. That sounds like a good plan. All right. <laughs> uh, do we have? Do we want to do any kind of rest before we go into this, or do we want to try and see what's in there and then try and do a rest and maybe attune to things if we found neat things that we have? I would love some resting. Yeah. Um. um yeah. Let's let's uh maybe get to the mouth of the cave. Out of sight of the guards? Yeah, let's see if we can... You know, if these things came from there, maybe uh, we cleared them out. And we can uh, set up shop there. Can we see guards, like, on the... Up, like, on the... Um, what is that thing called? The parapet? Or no? Um, like, could they, could they see us? With the trees and how dark it is, at this point, probably not. During the day, you would have to make a stealth roll, but at this point, the lights from the walls do not reach this far out. Um, they may have heard the screams of the vampires, but they've been hunting around here for a while, so it might not be anything new to them. Um, so it sounds like they're not really alarmed by that. Um, you should be able to easily make your way to the cave without being spotted. Okay, let's make our way to the cave then and get inside and then take a quick rest. Right. And assess our, assess our, our situation. Hell oh, yeah. Alright, so you're taking a short rest? Or a long rest? Um, I think long enough for us to like uh... I, I, I don't want to speak for the group, but long enough to, like, roll some hit dice and, and, like, you know, check our equipment and that kind of stuff. And, like, assess spell slots and things. Yeah, if, uh, if y'all wanted to, the, the boots that you got, a short rest would be long enough time, especially if you're already inside the cave, for you to probably figure out what's going on there. Okay. Um, yeah, I definitely want to know what they are. Okay, about an hour for a short rest. Okay. Maybe. For brevity, we'll say that pass is fine. Uh, there's no issues. Um, you're able to rest pretty, pretty comfortably, pretty safely. Um, not to sound like a dum dum who doesn't know how magic works, but how do spell slots work? <laughs> you get you them do... back. Uh, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, I was doing long a long rest. I think is how. Yeah, if you do the long rest, it'll automatically. Uh... Uh, reset those for you. Is there any other way to get them back? <laughs> GM Fiat? <laughs> maybe a maybe a potion? I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, a, a burgundy bubbly one that smells bad? Um, you could give it a whirl. You could see what happens. No, no. I'm not <laughs> whirling shit. If anything, I'm gonna have what's uh, Tyson drink it first, but only a little bit. You, Crush, for all of the lack of intelligence that you have, do you do have like, pretty good intuition. <laughs> Don't think that this potion's gonna hurt you. 
I'll say that much. Rex trusts it less. <laughs> a, <laughs> the smell is off-putting to Tyson. It's not that off-putting to you. Okay. All right. Um, take a little, little sip of it. You're gonna do it. You're gonna take, take a sip. No, Tyson. I'll it's like it's off-putting to you. It's off-putting to me. Yeah, you're like, oh, God, that's bad. But Crush is just like, when you said that, Crush was like, I don't get it. Yeah. Oh. Like, oh. it doesn't seem that bad to Crush. doesn't seem good to, to Tyson. You're both having different reactions to this. All right. I will let Crush do. do Tyson, what's your, inte what's, your intel mm -hmm. what's your intelligence? Like, what's your... Oh, uh, let me double check that real quick. Um, it's an 11, so plus zero. Okay. And crush your negative one. Huh? Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it seems pretty okay for you. You're 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 not concerned about it for some reason. I don't know. I don't. I don't feel like crush trusts it. Okay. I'm just gonna say this for you, crush. I don't know if we should be messing with that. I wonder if we have to throw that thing at something. No. <laughs> um. <laughs> I just feel like Crush is so dumb he could be convinced. Probably. Um. I I I, I got I it. Will. We just chant chug 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 chug. All chug. right, <laughs> chug chug. <laughs> um. No, no, I think that's not the worst idea. Um, so, uh, Crush will dribble just a little bit of it out on, onto, uh, on, onto a little bit of clothing. Just a little bit of, just a little, little, little on this clothes. Nothing happens. On a corner. Nothing, nothing happens. It just okay. soaks into the clothing. Okay, I'm not putting it in my mouth. <laughs> Not doing it. Nothing happened. Nothing bad happened. Doesn't matter. Don't trust it. Not putting it in my mouth. <laughs> okay. Not right now, anyway. Brilliant. I might get get a little desperate later, but. <laughs> <laughs> what about these boots? Yeah. So you put your boots on, and you're in the mouth of the cave. You're hanging out. You're pretty solid about everything. And. uh kind of thinking you feel not a huge change but uh they feel a lot lighter than your other boots a little more flexible but still just as strong it's not going to impact anything like that um you do notice that like when you step on loose rock you seem to have a really good grip and you wonder how it might do if you tried it on a on a rock face in the cave. Uh, Valen, due to her time in the Underdark, might know what this is. Uh, she will take her her new boot and she'll like step it, like put it like vertically on like a rock face and try to see if she can walk up the face. It's not quite those. Um. It starts to slide down, but as you hook the claw side into the rock, it holds. And you now have climbing speed that uh, is exact is the same as your just regular walking speed. So not, not quite boots Not spider climb. climb, yeah, but uh, not boots of, what is it, spider climbing or whatever? That'd Got it. But you're definitely able, so you wouldn't be able to like walk across the ceiling. You can scale a wall like that. I will, I will put those in here. Do they require attunement? No. Neat. Um, I got everyone's tokens in the cave. I think the map should be updated. There we go. This um, looks like a big sprawling uh, mess of caves here. I can imagine that there might be a secret entrance here somewhere. Yeah. Indeed. 
anyone is ready to kind of look around, feel free to, to, to make a perception check. Gonna go for it. Find it. Oh. Need to restart the app. Mm. <laughs> uh oh. Twenty two for perception. You can also roll investigation, sorry, I should say. Uh yes, Averlin rolled a twenty two. Oh. Okay. Um uh, a short rest, apparently. Okay. Yeah. Avalon rolled a sixteen, okay. <laughs> Tyson, I'll wait for you to roll since you're doing a check. Uh, Crush, you see some rocks. You do see some rocks. You also see a couple coffins peeking out around the corner to the uh, southwest over there. 18. Um, Southwest. Yeah. Down, uh, let me point. Point da. Yeah, so, yep. So, Crush, you do see you see some tents, and as you come around the corner, you also see um, there is sort of something is happening to the south. There is a, sort of a shrine or a table. It looks really rough, but on it is a candle that actually seems to be pulling light into it rather than putting light out of it. Um, you also see a cauldron with some wild bubbling liquid going on in there. You see a tent as well. And then you do see off to the west, there is an area where they have definitely held their meals captive. Um, there's bones littered around, blood is streaking the floor in this area, there's a cage, there's shackles, it's pretty good gnarly. Uh, for the rest of you, while you also notice all the stuff that Crush is noticing, you do feel from the northwest, a draft is blowing from uh, this I don't know if you can see the lights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start taking a, a walk up there. Okay. As you walk this way, you feel the draft getting stronger following the direction of the laser. Right. Oh. Um, do I notice any, like, footprints or anything like that? anywhere in this area, like if I were to like investigate it or anything? Any footprints in this area? Here we go, let me back out so we can just kind of, can we get crushed? Sorry, I'm just trying to get everybody in. Okay, uh, Jill, if you want, you can do some investigation checks to see if you find anything in that area, uh, if you'd like to look at all the coffins and stuff later. Well, yeah, I definitely want to look at the cauldron. Okay, go ahead and you can make you can make it uh, an arcana or an investigation check on the cauldron. I'll let you choose. I'm um, gonna do it. Cody, you don't so much see footprints. Um, you just feel the draft getting stronger and stronger. You, when you were in the other areas, you smelled sort of like a natural sort of cave smell, like you know rocks and, and stuff like that. Um, but as as you're getting farther this way you do sort of start to smell something else something kind of like mustier damper um less natural smells and and more smells of like mold and, and things like that um, that might be associated with, with humans or humanoids rather than uh a cave wow Valen, it kind of kind of smells like up dog over here. <laughs> I'd like to point out that I have uh, an 18 <laughs> wisdom, but I'll play. Oh, please, will you please uh, inform me of uh, exactly what is this up dog you're referring to? Not num. Oh, shoot, it didn't work. <laughs> Not. Anyway, I think there might be something up to this cave. <laughs> Nurse. <clears throat> what have you found? Ah, uh, just the, the smell of this place. It does seem a bit different from the normal cave. I, I, I think somewhere along this line might be what we're looking for. Okay. 
Uh, she'll look around with her dark vision and see. Are there? Is there any? Is there anything around, like a grate or anything like that? Uh, you do see sort of a more narrow tunnel that looks like it may be man-made. Uh, like, further back in. Uh, are we talking about like over here? I'm gonna uh, change this to purple. Uh, Just like over, like that goes this way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. While you're walking think... that way, Crush, what did you roll for your either Arcana or Investigation? I was only a nine. Only a nine. Uh, this potion does not seem good. It definitely seems evil, which to you might seem good. Um, oh. You don't know if this potion is necessarily something that will do some anything as a standalone, but it might be part of a ritual. Mm -hmm. Um. Can I... How do... How um how do liquids work in my uh stinky coat pocket? Can I dump uh, some liquid in there? I guess, but anything else that goes in your stinky coat pocket will also get coated in the liquid. Are, are there any like jars of any sort? You have one in your pocket. If you drink that potion, you'd have a potion vial. Stop trying to peer pressure me. <laughs> I just think you'll be chug, really happy if chug, you do it. Chug, chug, chug. <laughs> I know. Crush will drink the stupid potion only because he wants to reuse the jar for this potion. That was a great move. As soon as Crush does that, something happens. The gears start to whir. Things click in his mind, and all of a sudden, Crush's intelligence is the same as his strength. Whoa! Until you take a long rest. I'm a genius. Wow, that arcana roll probably would have been better if you used your potion first. <laughs> I'm in shock and awe. So my wisdom is now. No, your intelligence. Your intelligence. Or my intelligence. Sorry, sorry. Either way, is now an 18 from an 11? Okay, the next time that Crush speaks to any of you, it's going to blow your socks off. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't been Amazing. around you for yeah. this whole thing. Yeah, no, so they, have no idea you, they don't know you drink the potion or anything. So this lasts with you until you take a long rest. Oh, man, I want it to last longer. Well, they don't they have to take a long rest. I think rest. That, that Crush should, like, walk over to us and pull a monocle out of his pocket. And just... <laughs> <laughs> mm, yes. Because your intelligence is now so high, you will be able to successfully get some of the potion into the um, vial without uh, burning your hand off completely. Um, you'll be fine. You'll be safe. Great bitch here. Yep. 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 <laughs> if you tried that without and you had not rolled, you would be down a hand. So. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't afford to lose that. Uh, no. That's most of what I got. I love my hand. Um, Cool. Okay, I do that. Can I investigate the other stuff too? Like the like the the candle that's sucking light. Yeah. Cool. How can I change my intelligence to reflect what things what it should or should or can I just do a plus four in my brain? Uh, I think I I go ahead and roll. Uh, there's a way to do it. Give me one second. Okay. Let me. I also have little brain, like Crush, usually, and so I don't know how to do it. <laughs> so you can click on intelligence. Okay. Not the number, but like the actual like word. Oh, okay. Oh. And then cool. override score, put in eighteen. Ooh. Oh, okay. I'll let you do it. I was gonna do it, but now I will not. Oh, no, I'm doing it. I'm doing yeah. it. <gasps> I'm such a smarty. Sorry, I may have messed it up. Go ahead, let me refresh that. <laughs> and that'll affect everything. Yeah, I messed yeah, it up. Give me one second. Yeah, it does. Oh, you did? Probably I did, yeah, but like... it, yeah, I fixed it. I fixed it. You're fixed. Oh, okay, good. Fixed. All right. It looks good to me. Yeah. So I'm a maid! Yeah. I love being smart. Yeah, you can investigate the other things. I'll be honest, you won't find much, but go for it. Well, I want to mostly investigate the candle, and then I want to take it with me. Okay. Are you kidding me? I still rolled like <laughs> shit. 
<laughs> yeah, that's a candle that is sucking the light out of the air around it. Um, but it is not nailed down, so you can take it if you'd like to. If you blow it out, I don't know what's going to happen. You'd have to, you'd have to try and see. You don't know what happens if you blow it out. But I got a big brain now, and I don't know what happens. You could make an arcana check. I'm going to make an arcana check. It's, uh, go ahead. 14? To the best of your knowledge, it'll stop removing light from the surrounding area. I, but can I relight it and it'll do the same thing? That you don't know. If I put That's a lit candle in my stinky coat pocket, will that be a problem? It puts it in a pocket dimension, right? But I don't know if... I suppose if nothing else in there is flammable... I don't think there's any air in the pocket dimension. It might go out. Right, yeah. Because you do have to hold your breath if you're in a pocket dimension. There you go. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. gosh. I guess so. Okay, well, then I do some quick science, I blow it out, and then I try and light it back on fire. It doesn't light with a regular, like, like, tinder thing, or like a fire starting, what, if you have like flint or steel or whatever you have, it doesn't light with that. You have the idea, you have, you, you think that it probably can be relit, but it might have to be relit with magic, rather than a physical fire. Okay, fine. Well, it's blown out and I put it in my big coat pocket. You sure can! Don't forget to write that down, because I'm not keeping track of any of this. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, is there anything else that you want to check out while you're over there? Oh, I'll go wander back to my friends that I hate. Sounds great. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, Brillin is over by the grate, and then she kind of jogs in to catch up with you all. Um, just kind of reports that, like, that, that grate doesn't seem to lead anywhere into the jail, but it might lead from here out to the sea. That could be good to know. Well, to be honest, I'm wondering if we shouldn't um, spend the time now removing the grate. That way we can have an easy way to escape if for some reason we should um, <clears throat> become a little bit louder than we would like in our stealth mission. I think that's a great idea, even if we don't use it. It'll, it'll throw us, throw them off our trail, possibly. Let's, think... uh, let's do it. All right, I think a seriously like... evil play. I love what? it. What was that? A seriously evil move. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess let's go back over here. Is it, like, locked? Or, like, talk to me about how this is affixed. Do we need to break it? Yeah, there's just a couple padlocks um, on either side of the... Let me zoom in here. So, um, there's hinges on this side, um, but there's padlocks holding it closed here. Locks, you say? And here, yes. Uh, so... I'd like to take a look at it, but I'd like to... Um, I want to roll perception if that's okay. Yeah, go for it. What are you looking for? I, I just want to make sure there's no glyphs or traps or any of that nonsense. Oh, yeah, go for it. I rolled a 24. Yeah, um, no glyphs, no traps. This this one really does truly seem to be kind of just a straightforward padlock. Um, it, okay. it's, rel it's not the most intricate thing that you've ever seen, um, but it's not going to be the easiest lock in the world either. Um, I look over at, uh, at Averlyn, and uh, you think what I'm thinking? uh crowbars up uh <laughs> I was gonna, i'm pulling on my feet i'm pulling my thieves tools i'm gonna pop this lock yeah but there was a there was a chance for me to make a home alone reference and i'm gonna do that <laughs> of course of course uh, uh, i race you oh it's a race excellent yeah and i um, to see this crush you want to make a bet The answer should be yes. <laughs> oh, I think he might be muted. Oh, no. Gosh. There we go. <laughs> I wasn't actually muted, though. Oh. Oh, weird. Just kidding. I don't know why. 
Are we are we doing this? Okay. Yes. I am betting. I would like to bet. Oh, but now I'm smart. I don't know how smart people bet. I went to a casino once and I lost twelve dollars and then I told AJ to take me home. I'll give you my uh, signed book if you give me that uh um skin coat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the skin coat. Why not? <laughs> no, that's my skin coat that I hate. Um <laughs> Just Jill hates it. I should clarify. Like, Crush does not hate it, but Jill really hates it. Yeah. This is sort of like when um, Orla's not into Tarhoon, but Jill is. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would, uh, I would like to, I would like to bet my block of incense. That works for me. I mean, this is a signed copy, so that's a bit, uh, but all right, it's fine. I got this as and a gift, are, and I'm evil, so I don't care about incenses. gifts. <laughs> while, while everyone is distracted by the gambling, uh, I rolled a 19. 20 with advantage if you consider the fact that we're racing is helping each other, uh, but a 19 or a 20. Okay, for... I rolled, for... A, I rolled a 22. Okay. Um, both of us would point unlock... Out that I, I unlocked it first. I win the race. Well, here's the... Oh, is that how that works? <laughs> both, both of those... <laughs> would unlock the lock, so you'd both be successful. What I would like you both to do is roll, I'll let you choose either an acrobatics or a sleight of hand check. And whoever has the higher roll. Twenty-six. Oh, that's Averline. Averline went with oh. Who did you guys bet on? Crush oh. Tyson. Oh, crap. Oh. We didn't click to do this. <laughs> All right. So we'll while they were still talking, you two just did the race, and then... <laughs> They're just like all business, getting stuff done. We decided what to bet, but not who we thought was going to win. Brillen looks at the two of you, and uh, Brillen was holding out um, uh, their... Uh, uh, they're gonna go bigger home, go home. They were kind of holding it, like pointing at their bracers of protection, and then uh, holds out their hand and was like, "My money was on Averline. Pay up." What? <laughs> give right, me the skin right, jacket. Right. <laughs> I give her the book. All right. <laughs> it's a good copy. You're gonna really love this character. He is a hook. A hunk or a punk? A hunk. Yes. It's hot. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not reading it for him. And then she puts a it in her punk. backpack. And then uh, she, again, holds out her hand to crush. And goes... Um, I, well... It's I, that incense, I, right? Only fair. I mean, uh, we can get more incense. It? Uh, fine. But I'm mad about it. <laughs> oh, I actually have two. Good luck. Oh, great. All there right. Go. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So that is open. You can now lift the grate with not necessarily ease. Uh, it's pretty heavy. Crush might be your pal in this situation. Um, I'm a big boy. Mm -hmm. Should we just have it open now? Uh, as soon as he asks that, I lift it up. Go ahead and make a um. Actually, what's just what's what's your what's your your strength is eighteen. Yeah. Go ahead and make a either a strength or an athletics check, whichever is better. Oh, athletics, baby! All right, athletics is a plus eight. Wow. And since I rolled a two, <laughs> it's a ten. Yeah, Crush. I am so mad. Crush struggles and does manage to lift it and flip it over, but as you're like squatted down, there is a, a, a small amount of flatulence that, that happens. It's a squeaker. <laughs> it's a squeaker. It's a lot of effort. Uh, <laughs> Crush is not embarrassed at all. Doesn't care. Everyone else is pretty upset. It's pretty rank. Uh, Four parts are fine. Yes. I don't care. 
Yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's open now if you want it. You're good to go. I believe it. These uh, shitty rolls are punishment for being evil. <laughs> <laughs> the dice hate us. Yeah. Um, so yeah. we have we have a way to get out. So yeah. that's good. I um, marked it with the green circle. Do we want to leave? Or it's not leave, but like, do we want to make sure that there's nothing between us and the exit? Or do we want to just hope? That's like, it's um, going to be like a uh, slide. You're welcome to jump down there. Oh, it's you're like gonna, a slide? You're, you're going to be sliding. Like, Berlin was right. able to, like, hear the ocean. Gotcha. But it's kind of like, uh, it's like a drain out to the ocean. Valen is going to put her put her trust in Wolf and, and, and assume that everything's going to be fine. Yep. Love it. All right. Give me a gold dip if we need it. I'm sure it'll be fine. All right. Are y'all heading back to the the small entrance? Yeah. Okay. Update that. So as you head in, you do notice um, there's a set of three doors. The first is here. Uh, the second will be here, and then I'll draw the line. And then the third is um, off map. And once you get the th once you get the third door open. That will end our session for the evening, and you'll start your next session somewhere on the other side of that door. Hmm. Would you like to uh, try and open the doors tonight, or save that for the next one? Are they puzzles? They are. They're not super hard puzzles, but they are puzzles. Uh, I'll, def I'll defer to the group. Do we want to do it tonight, or save it till next session? Um, it's almost 11. Um, yeah. Yeah, I Good. think we should probably maybe save it for the next session. Yeah. All right. All right. This is a great, a great, a great cliffhanger. Yeah. We've yeah. arrived at the doors. Yeah. We've got well, the doors. Get through them. You've got three doors. <laughs> three doors. Three doors, and that's it. Just to what? You don't know? Yeah. Three, three doors down. Three doors. Come on in now. That's that's not the right. Yep. <laughs> Crip tonight. All the, there we go. All all of all of the '90s bands sounded the same. Yeah. Let's be real. Yeah. Let's not kid ourselves. I always wonder how are <laughs> yeah. those people's throats. Uh, probably. Can I take probably. A question to ask you? What was that? <laughs> I have a question to ask you. What? If I go crazy, will you still call me Superman? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, with yeah, arms wide open. Um, if I'm alive and well. <laughs> Will you be um, there holding my hand? Hey! There you go. <laughs> All right. That's where we're going to leave it tonight, folks. Thank you so much for, for hanging out with us. Um, we're going to we're gonna skip out of here, and we'll see you next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time-ish. Um, and we'll see if they get through these doors. I don't know, I feel like a lot of, uh, I feel like a lot of D&D streams, there's a lot of problems with doors, so we'll see how well this goes for you. I mean, Critical Role has a whole thing about how awful oh, doors yeah. are. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Struggling with doors. Yeah. Uh, all right, well, thank you all. We'll see you next week. Um, bye. Bye. Bye.